if I want to um, call Victor to come to me, I'm using a leash for that. Uh, of course, we could do the standard thing where it would be easy for you to transfer to that if you wanted to, a little um, a collar with, with a vibrator. And all you do, since he has such a good recall just on the end of a leash right now, you push that button at the same moment that you do this, and pretty soon you don't have you don't have to do this. It would probably take a day or two, and he would you just could use the buzzer. So I've done all the heavy lifting for you, and all you'd have to do was would be like like that, and press the button at the same moment you did the little the signal that you see me doing, and then you could use that uh, that vibrator collar from long distance. You practice from longer and longer distances away. Anyway, so, but this whole leash thing, since you have a problem on leash with him, with uh, being overstimulated and out of control, I just thought that I would practice this method. When you want the dog to come to you, they're always going to be, the most important times, they're not going to be staring at you. They're going to be headed away from you. They're going to be going to, you know, eat something or smell something gross on the ground. They're going to go chase or whatever. Uh, they're moving away from you. So you always want to practice, when you're practicing the recall, you always want to practice when at least he's facing away from you. Why don't you show that yard right there? That's what he's looking at right now. Dogs in the yard, that's why we're doing it here. He's practicing in yet another situation where there's possible distractions. So I just do a little prompt. He sees this target. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> sees this target and he backs, a, he, I back away and he comes to it every time. Whether there's food in here or not, it doesn't matter. He doesn't know that there's food in here or not. He's not going to know the difference. So that's why we use this target. It's a closed fist. It's not a half open hand. It's not like this or that or that or whatever. It's just a fist because he'll always come to this target no matter what. And so this is the way you transition out of food, which you should start phasing the food out in a few weeks with all of these things, like maybe give him a reward um, like two out of three times and then pretty soon every other time and then you can work your way up to like when you're calling him to come to you just a few times a day we have distractions coming but look even though he's interested in these people good boy there's no food in there I just loved him up I'm gonna do it a few times so no food again right come good boy good let him go again, go towards these dogs again. He's moving away from me. Come. Back away, he can't help himself. Come to the target. Good boy, good. So that's how he comes already to this target. But use food for a while after he comes back to you and, and, fa and phase it out gradually. So the more that you use food in the first month that he's back with you, the better. Then start to phase it out because he definitely is gonna have a stronger behavior pattern and coming to you like that if you phase the food out over time as opposed to giving him treats six months later so look at these big distractions look at Victor come good we got surprised there all kinds of activity happened all I did was just back away signal gentle Gentle but firm. If he's pulling you, just stand firm. He'll respond to it. That tight leash, this is where the problem happens. When he's pulling you, when you're going like this, when you're trying to manage him, whatever, that's when all that, those bad behaviors come out. But if you have it loose, like you've seen throughout these, all these videos, and he's going to the end of it, and you don't let him drag you around, and you stand firm like that, He'll back off. He'll go to the end. I wish he would do it, but he won't. After a while, he doesn't do it. He'll go to the end. You're not moving. He'll back up. It'll stay loose. So wherever he goes, just do this. Just keep it loose. He'll stay relaxed. And all that pulling will uh, not come back. <laughs>